Namaste. In this video, we are going to study about congruency of triangles. Let us first understand the meaning of the word congruency. It means two geometrical figures having exactly same shape and same size. What are congruent triangles? Two triangles are congruent if and only if one of them can be made superpose on the other so as to cover it exactly. In other words, their sides must be equal and their angles must be equal. Here the word corresponding plays a very critical role. We will see it further in the video. Now there are different criteria for proving the congruency of triangles. If two triangles are congruent or not, we can find out using the following four methods. First one is SAS that is side angle side. Second is ASA angle side angle. Third one is SSS side 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 and the last one is RHS that is right angle hypotenuse and side. Let us discuss them one by one. If in two triangles one side is equal, another pair of side is also equal in length and the angle which lies between these two sides are also equal, then you can say that these two triangles are congruent by S A S criteria. Here the included angle is important. The second is angle side angle. In two triangles, if you have two pairs of equal angles and the side which is lying in between these two angles are equal then you can say these two triangles are congruent by ASA criteria. Again the included side is important over here. The third rule says if all the three pairs of sides are equal then these two triangles are said to be congruent by SSS criteria. The last one is RHS criteria. In two right angled triangles, if their hypotenuse are equal and one of the other two sides are equal in length then we can say the, the triangles are congruent by RHS criteria. So using any of these four criteria you can check whether the given two triangles are congruent or not. Thank you.